how are we gonna handle this? I've already made myself a character. Okay. I, I, I made a character uh, like a couple of years ago, so I, at this point, you are the expert. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just try <laughs> hosting. I'll make a new character so I'm not... Sure, uh, yeah. I've grabbed classic. Um, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It just means you put the... Uh, like, if you go with casual, it just reduces the amount of food you need and you can get back that item. But honestly, in the amount of time I've played, I've died once. Yeah, it was a lot harder, I think, when this game first came out, from what I remember. Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, stuff being dropped on the ground is not the end of the world. Ooh. I will... What race did you go for? I forgot there were a ton of races here. I went half-elf for that sweet, sweet mobility bonus. I... Yeah, I can see that. That actually looks really useful. Yeah. Got a little bit of, uh, little bit of attack, a little bit of mobility, though. Uh, eating things in the middle of battle, probably not a thing half-elves can do. Humans can do it. Half elves, probably not. I'm just gonna go live on uh, Steam Friends list. Donk, there we go. That way I can just join via Steam and make things super easy. I love it when games allow for that. Yep, I I hated joining by IP. That was always the worst. Yeah. yeah it's okay. A massive, massive pain in the bum. I'll keep it normal. This will be. Hosted should be good. Okay, I will join game. Bum. Ooh, looks a lot nicer than it did. Well, I will join game in a moment. Actually, uh, let's try that again. Join game. Hey. Oh, there we go. So for people, I guess on my side that haven't seen this before, this is Kepler. It's a game I played like two years ago at launch, and I thought just like, yeah, this looks kind of neat. It's like RimWorld, kinda. Uh. <laughs> we were twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought you said you're going to be a half elf. I went full elf. I am. I am a half elf. <laughs> Cle clearly, clearly, our father or mother has uh, a few things to explain. Ah, uh, my lord, <laughs> my lord, that's glorious. <laughs> Why? There's a tutorial uh, robot. This is new. Yeah. Yeah, and one of the nice things about this is we share certain quests, like story quests. We share so any progress. Wait, on that, there's story quests. Can. Yep. All but right. So personal quests, like building, that's all you. You do okay. that yourself. So yeah, you. I mean, honestly, uh, like I said, I played this two years ago when it like first hit early access. So I, I'm going to say straight up, you are the uh, you're you're going to be the expert for today, and I'm just going to follow along. We are ultra doomed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, well, you play a I lot mean, of RimWorld. What does this do? Yeah, that is true. I right, oh. already grabbed all that. That is a teleporter. Um, we've got to destroy tree. Use portal to go to ship's lab. Um, that's basically a bit of a story. Uh, the little robot here. Um, he was uh, helping someone. I think uh, I, I forget her name now. Did you get the cutscene of that? When I you popped out of your pod. Don't think so. I don't well, think. I think he was he was like backing up a uh, a character, and like she was a treasure hunter or something. And she basically just straight up got yoinked by some dudes who jumped through a portal. Um, oh. And so we've got to go back to Ship's lab and let him know. Oh, wow, I've already got a hardened branch. Nice. Uh, that's going to be quite useful for gene editing. You know, because you know. <laughs> Gene yeah. editing. Oh boy! Yeah, you know, it's just just a little bit of a little bit of uh, handiwork with your genetics. You know, start with a hardened branch, end up with you know crazy eight arms. Yeah, sort of things. Uh, yeah, something hits you, suddenly they're infected with a disease. You take them over. It's hive mind kind of stuff. It's great. I, I, I'm assuming you are actually being full serious here, and that's actually really exciting for me. It's a uh, semi full series. You do there are there is like a branch. I've not gone down all the way. There is like a parasite host gene editing branch. There's loads of different ones. There's um ones that allow you to uh, just have basic skills. Ones that give you um oh ones that give you giant dragon cows attacking you. It's uh it's hurting pretty bad. Up oh, and it's dead. All right. You are. Uh, let's see. What's the ah? There's the crafting thing. 
uh, but yeah, there's loads of different uh, there's loads of different trees you can go down. Defensive trees, hunting trees, um, pet trees. So you can be a pet romancer if you want to be. Um, team ally trees, alpha trees, which is just like you are becoming an alpha, uh, kind of an apex version of whatever you are. Um, there's all sorts of stuff, and the, and the host tree is more of the parasite tree, which uh, I don't know. It just, oh, it just this is right. cool. So. Uh, to make like a stone club, it just requires stone, but it can require any type of stone. I yes. I like that. Yeah, I I really like that in crafting games where you're not um, stuck to a certain thing. It's like yeah, you need I don't know a fruit. In which case, anything that is a fruit will work. What on is is that a cat moose? Yeah, chicken? it was making what? cat I... noises. Mm -hmm. I. This world is strange. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say this world is very strange. All right, I need I, to make a stone club. I have to grab myself some stuff. All right. Yeah, it absolutely just makes cat noises. I mean, you know, sure. I'm not, not even gonna, like angry not, cat noises. Yeah. It, it sounds kind of upset that I'm just smacking it around. I mean... Fair, really, when you think about it. Well, I mean, I think I'd be upset the first time, and then after that it would probably switch over to, like, righteous indignation and or anger. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair point, fair point. Uh, you can make punji sticks, all sorts of crazy stuff with this. Right, okay, so I've got... I need a stone pickaxe. I, I love the way it does this. It's like, yeah, yeah, go make a stone, uh, stone club. Now make a stone pickaxe. It would have been better if you made the stone pickaxe first, though, because then you'd have had an easier time getting the stone to make the club. But no. No. Oh, okay. Oh, this is dirt block. Uh, I'll be honest, you sound like full robot at this point, which is really fun to listen to, but... Oops. Is it better now? <laughs> yeah, it's much better now. <laughs> uh, well, thankfully... You have not sounded like full robot, which I'm That's very good. happy about. It was just, it was almost musical. <laughs> Songify my life. Bye, Apple. I, you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty close. Oh man, I haven't, I haven't listened to like any of those YouTube channels that used to do that sort of stuff. I haven't listened to them in ages. All right, I need wood and stone. Have I got enough wood? Yes, I do. Fantastic. A pick. Now this is going to be significantly easier. I really like that the tools have reach. And you hit everything oh. within their reach. Hey, that's nice. Do they have... Yeah, they have a durability. Yeah, you can repair them. Um, well, that's like one of the things that our, our robot friend is good at, actually. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is whilst we're getting to grips with life and such, I'm just going to very hodgepodge build up our little base. Okay. Yeah, go with for some it. some walls. They're, they're not pretty walls. They're just lumps of stone that have, I've moved somewhere else, basically. The but it will give us some defense. Yeah. No, do whatever. I I am fully uh, just going to follow your your lead, except for your culinary lead. I, I know your habits. I know your ways. <laughs> How dare. Uh, you right over there? Yeah, you should. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It, it was a little spooky when I saw that I was only doing two damage to them originally. And then, uh, then I punched one to death on my own. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe these aren't so hard. Okay. There we go. Uh, I've got some Club. berry wow. seeds. Oh, evil rabbit, why? Oh, you do more damage than me, so I need to kite you a bit. Whoop. Now, for those watching, this is basically a procedural game. The The whole map, which is functionally infinite, is just randomly generated every single time. Yep. I think there's and also, it has like, a lot of Z levels. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like, this game does the one thing that I wish RimWorld would, would do, where you can go up and down. Like, that's yeah. super huge for me.
Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go plant an apple tree. Uh, where did you plant your berry tree? Uh, berry bushes. You planted them over here. Yeah, I was just kind of plunking them over there. Eventually, uh, we'll probably place. want to make some kind of indoor thing, maybe, ah. so we stop getting bullied by really? an archer? the natives. Oh, no. and, and an ogre as well. Why? Okay, I got the archer. Okay. Watch out, that thing does hit a bit harder than... Yeah, he hits for things. 10. Oink. Ooh, and I'm bleeding. Eh, that's oh, fine. Uh, do I you have bandages? Oh, cool. Yeah, I think you picked those up from the uh, initial drop, like the, the chest. Uh, apple trees over there. Put all our ducks in a row. It's a little bit like uh, like don't starve in that way. It's, it's a good idea to just pop everything nearby if you can. Uh, I'm going to grab some more wood because we're going to need a stupid amount of that. Watch for leather. Ooh, you're going to need a lot of leather. Let's see. Hardened branch can be used in gene editing. I, I love the fact that almost everything we walk past is like, can be used in gene editing. It's like, yeah. a branch? <laughs> what kind of weird... Archaic gene editing is this going on? I, I guess I'm I'm kind of looking forward to the uh, the end result of that. Like if, if I can if I can photosynthesize in this game, I will be a happy camper. <laughs> that that is actually a pretty pretty awesome. Result. I love the fact that you can do that in cataclysm. I mean there are drawbacks, but it's like yeah. But I basically don't need to eat other food. I just need to stand in the sun. Right, I need to make a simple workbench uh, of any material. I'll, I'll go ahead and make one just so I can pass that step. I'll make it out of wood. Plop. I'm going to place it indoors. Campfire. Hey. Goblin ha hair. Oh, that's just what I wanted. Yeah, I bet you're super excited to know what you're going to turn into when you start applying that to your genetics. I, uh... Like, I'm down for photosynthesizing, but, like, getting hairy goblin bits. I don't know. So how do you feel about the uh, simula similarities to, like, RimWorld or Prison Architect, uh, visually? Well, I mean... It's basically an art style, and I actually uh, mentioned this to a couple of people in, in my chat. I said, oh, is it made by the same people who, who did RimWorld? And I said, no, but, and I can see why you would ask, because it does have a similar kind of top-down aesthetic. But to me, this is the kind of similarity that you'd have with um, comparing Terraria and Starbound. It is yeah. similar, but it's very, it, it is distinct enough to be to be its own thing. Um uh, like, there's a lot more detail on everything in this world than there is in uh, RimWorld. It is probably a lot closer to Prison Architect. And and in turn, RimWorld is, you know, the flat-out is well, uh, Prison yeah, Architect effect. You, you know the story behind that, right? Yeah, yeah, he basically asked them if he if they were... I always thought that was kind of a neat little bit that they were just like, yeah, sure, use, use, our, art, use our art style. It's fine. Your game looks awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Do we want to try and hop on my Discord? You keep going Robo every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because we'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the partner um, server benefits. Partner server blades. Then, okay, I shall jump over it now. Oh, all right. That should be better. There we are. Okay. Uh. Does anything bad happen tonight, or no, not really? Uh, you will tend to find the, the creatures that are around at night are significantly different. Uh, but they're not, I mean, they're more dangerous, but it's not like you're going to have blood horde, uh, blood moon hordes or anything crazy like that. Okay. Ooh, so you should cook find. raw food. Make a stove. Yeah, the reason why I bring up the art style is I remember uh, the first, when I first played this, uh, People, what's up? <laughs> it was funny. We moved to your server because of the roboting, and up until then, I'd had no problem with you roboting. But the moment we were on your server, your and then I go robotic. full robot. <laughs> Whoops. Well, oh, no, that's that's just life. It's just the internet. But I just thought that was that was perfect timing. The timing couldn't have been better than that. Comedy, comedy wise. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, carry I, on. I, what you were saying? I remember when I first played this, people were just like, oh, it looks like a RimWorld clone, as like a very quick dismissal. I think I spent mm. more of my series honestly arguing against that to some small degree. 
uh, than actually. Yeah, yeah, I can see th see that happening. Let's... We found a whole lot of metal. Probably not. Uh, there is metal on the surface that I've seen. Uh, let me have a look right in close. So, there was definitely some stone around that I walked past, and there was clearly copper in it. You can you, you can see the whole map on this. There's no like fog of water. Yeah, there we are. Oh, hey, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Also, if you're above ninety percent satiation, you will uh, you will just automatically regen health. Yeah. A little bit of extra movement is so good. Yep. Yeah, when you mentioned half elves move faster, I was like, oh, wait, but elves move faster. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice for kiting, like, melee enemies. Yep. Gotta get a headlamp, though. We can drop down some torches. Apparently, they will help with uh, preventing... Uh, creature spawns. Hey. What the horror monster bunny rabbit is that? That is actually quite literally <laughs> what it is. Yeah, that is, that is literally what it is, yeah. I am, ugh. I'm not comfortable with that. So they got cats out. Well, I guess bunnies don't really make a whole lot of noise except for horrible screaming, so I can kind of understand why they wouldn't want to just Include yeah, that. a rabbit oh, that is distressed sounds like like literally someone is murdering a child. <laughs> it yep. is so distressing to hear a, a rabbit that is that is scared. I remember it was years ago. I was living in my parents' basement, working on my YouTube channel, like super late at night, uh, as you do. And I remember very distinctly there was like horrible noises outside. Like it sounded like a dog was eating a small child. And it was yep. it was spooky. I was I was worried. Uh, so uh, my parents, myself, and like a bunch of neighbors actually ended up just going outside at like three in the morning just to figure out like it, is there a dog like tearing a child limb from limb? No, it was a coyote uh, killing a rabbit, and uh, <laughs> it was a complete surprise to everybody. We found it the next day, and it was just like oh, I mean that's that's obviously. You know, kind of horrifying, but not nearly as bad. Yeah, not quite as bad as uh, we thought it was. But yeah, you'll tend to find that all of the animals around at night are. Uh, oh, yeah. Of some sort. Ooh, we should probably move our uh, groves inside. Yeah. So well, one thing we can we're... do is we can move them down to, uh, like, we can move them underground because most plants are okay with growing underground without sunlight. From what I, I understand. Uh, all right. I'll just uh. Yeah. No, don't don't question it. I mean, look, we we we're completely okay with just accepting. Yeah, I can edit my jeans with hardened logs. It's like okay, yeah, plants can grow without sunlight. No, no, no. Yeah, not gonna ask. I'll start setting up down there. Oh, bear claw. Once again, use for gene editing. Now the bear claw, I like the idea of using it for gene editing. It's like hmm. Ooh. Oh. Unfortunately, dogs are almost faster than me. Yeah, they have to, like, stop to attack, though, so it's not so bad. I do feel guilty about killing the cat, moose, chickens, though. Whatever they are. There's a snow. There it is. Okay. I'm gathering snow. Cat, moose, chickens. Disapprove. Now, were there RPG mechanics in this? I don't remember that one. Um, I think the RPG mechanics are effectively through the gene editing, where you can oh, yeah, no, nope, there we go. Your stats and stuff. That's exactly it. That's that works perfectly for me. I was, uh, I mean, I I finished up uh, Xenoblade last night. At least the, the oh, main story okay. of like the first game. Super fun, but I found myself kind of just not being okay with the fact that there were leveling in that game. Like it just didn't actually really matter ever and I was kind oh, of okay. uh 
I, I was kind of having this this conversation throughout the entire thing, being like, but what if you just didn't level up in RPGs anymore? And it was all just like, uh, uh, like say Final Fantasy VII, for example, if it was all just entirely based on uh, you find little things to plug into your uh, into your leveling your leveling tree, your weapon, because that was the only thing that actually mattered from what I I had seen. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I get where you're coming from with that. Yeah. So a little bit like um, I mean, Path of Exile does have leveling still, but their skill is almost entirely equipment based, and uh, the sort of stuff that you're equipping, yeah, um, and slotting in. I want to switch the side plant, plant. Yep. Oh, this is grass. Well. Yeah, Jake Toti, like Monster Hunter. That's a very, yeah. very good uh, comparison there, yeah. One thing to be aware of, cooked, like, roasted meat counts as a different ingredient. Ah. When it comes to uh, items. And also you can use grass as fuel. <laughs> I need... Let's see. <laughs> I've got I've got weird food, and it's like the description is like, although it looks weird, somehow the taste felt very familiar. Dot dot dot. It's like <laughs> oh, ah, uh, that's concerning. Yeah. Oh, I'm being chased by by lions. Great, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Ah, uh, that was almost bad. Uh, sure. Conk. Need me some food. Unfortunately, I'm now nauseous. Great. Need me some more food. Okay. So I've... I have, uh... Planted at least a number of seeds downstairs. Okay. And built kind of like a rudimentary farming area. We actually have like a sizable complex down here. I be hey, and there's the metal. Uh, did you find much metal up up above, or no, not really? Uh, I found a bit of copper. Okay, I there's think I smelled that already. There's a decent chunk down here. Maybe? Oh wait, no, these are light spores. Never mind, I am wrong. The, well, oh, you found mushrooms, right? Yeah, yeah. I our underground is smack dab in the middle of a mushroom biome. It's actually kind of nice. Keeps the whole place uh, well lit. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can do gene editing with light spores, so I I am incandescent. That would be kind of awesome, I'm going to be honest. Oh, nice. You've actually, uh, yeah, you've set this up quite nicely. I'm just going to add... Oh, I'm not going to use snow. The problem is I can't just freely swing here. Because it... Every time I... Every time I hit the, the mushrooms, I lose my light. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. You are going to get angry with me. I disapprove. Most animals won't go indoors, which is very useful. Yeah. Like, they won't activate doors. Uh, where are the things? There's a torch. I uh, need to find some... Oh, there's loads of creatures outside. My health is shockingly low. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for some food to grow. We've got we've got the plants down here. They will grow with time. But I'm gonna head back up top and see if I can't uh, maybe do a little bit of mining and harvesting to get. Oh, I've got enough uh, wood and stone to make a couple more arrows. So I'm gonna set myself up, get a bunch of arrows, and try and hunt some more monsters for meat. Are you doing good for food? I think uh, I'm trying to see. I, I'm experimenting with cooking. I miss. Okay. Oh, did I burn? Yeah, I lost all my wood. Well, never mind then. Ooh, nectar. Fantastic. Now, there are some really good combos that you can go for. Nectar plus most things will make some sort of healing food. Now, that can have the downside that it's not going to be as filling as other foods you might you might have but uh like if you have two different types of meat and nectar on a stove you're going to make honeyed ham which is a Ooh. really um decent uh, satiety and health restorative i 
that's straight out of... That's straight out of Don't Starve, and I'm totally fine with that. I like what the cooking we want in that to do game. is it try and good. get um, production of nectar going, because we're going to need a lot of that later on. So trying to find um, someone who can teach us how to make beehives is going to be a big... Oh, big so priority. somebody will actually like teach us to do so? Yep. Yep, you can learn a couple of different recipes from various NPCs. Finding them is the tricky part. Can I track a can? Uh, I hate walking Do around know? with low health. It's yeah. Like screen just flashing red. Oh, I haven't gotten low yet. Let's see. We're just going to have a giant underground forest, I guess. I'm okay with this. Uh, oops. Oh, that was the apple tree. Archer War. Ah. Gotcha. I am the superior archer. Never forget it. Enough monster meat mushrooms that I should be able to make myself some healing noms. As long as I don't die to a goblin on my way back to the stove. Oh, an apple. Double awesome. Two types of fruit and nectar will make fruit salad. Ooh. Which equally has uh, some healing Very properties close. to it. Okay, there we go. Put an, I'm putting an, ah, another door on this, so I don't have yeah, to yeah, of course. go all the way around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. Time to forage. And by forage, I mean slay. <gasps> oh, poop. What's up? I got weird food. Oh, I probably wanted um, meat that wasn't monster meat for that. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. oh well. Maybe you could cook it Much beforehand? Time. I did. I had one roasted one and one regular monster meat, but they, it was roasted monster meat ultimately. So. Ah. Still, it only gives me a a movement debuff, but it gives me a solid twenty five uh, satiety. Mushroom soup, uh, least satiety. Get one of two of the mushroom toxin effects. Well, that would be fine if I wasn't already low on health, because there's a good chance I'll get poisoned. I'll either, like, be able to move faster, jump higher, you know, fight harder, or be poisoned. Die. And it's like, mm, at 22 health, I will, uh, Ooh. I will hold back on that. I found a uh, a lab up here. Ooh, okay. On my way. Ooh, that is a... Uh, that is a uh, infected killer rabbit. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, we can do this, but some of the an the creatures here are ranged, so be aware of that. And their ranged is like a poison spit, which is not Parasitor. Nice. There we go. I should probably make a bow. Oh. Uh, oh. Straight up on the open the door. Ouch. Yeah, you hang back. You've got a bow. Wow. He has seen considerably better days. Wow, that 5% movement speed bonus is, uh... Oof. Kind of impressive. I was so I was... slow because of the uh, toxins I had. Oh, that's what it is. I got a family photo. <laughs> well, you know. That was yeah, worth it? Most got some bullets, but for a gun I don't have. Um, Doesn't look like we can nab anything that. off of any of this. But yeah, I think I think the discoveries are across your account. So I've got all sorts of things. In fact, at some point, I'm going to sit down and uh, show that to my chat so they can see. 
uh, some of the discoveries that uh, I've already unlocked in the game, like uh, like pictures of of Earth and stuff, and it's like it's hinting at something. It's hinting at something really interesting. I'm not sure where it's going exactly, but it looks pretty cool. Oof. Now bear meat would have been fine. Ooh, berries, yes. Grab some of you. Now if I can just get some apples and some more nectar, I can make some healing uh, fruit salad. Like certain items will just flat up give you health. Oh, you got a goblin. Uh, you're not going to be naked anymore. How marvelous. Yeah, I should probably put it on. Uh, I think I actually yeah. have multiple of these. Ooh. Here. Uh -oh. Yep. There you okay. go. Now we, now we, uh, well, I mean, it's not like we really had much to hide, uh, but now we don't have to hide anything. <laughs> you do have a butt crack, though. Oh, do you? <laughs> I was not looking too hard. <laughs> It's kind of hard to avoid when you, when you start walking up uh, the screen. It's like, hmm, what is that? Well, Whoa. Okay. I see. Very uh, well, game. Okay. We're going there. See how Apple, active is the development? Ooh, I think I found just like an encampment or it's like a house. It's oh, a yeah. House. We will find like abandoned houses all over the place. This world has gone through some stuff. I'm down with that. I, some of them are pretty grim. You'll go there and, like, you know, you'll straight up find the previous occupant. And, uh, yeah. I want it doesn't leave do much that. to the imagination on what happened to them. I want more games like that where it actually will, like, take your previous playthroughs into account and, like, uh, you know, leave leftover, uh, like, leftover settlements and whatnot behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things you know, I, I wish was more of the case in RimWorld, that if you continue playing in that game, you'd get more. You can actually pick all of that up. It looks like super ruined right now, but if you collect it and take it back, it will it will revert to its like pristine um, visual state. That's good. Uh, let's see. I need to eat. See, damage defense capsule. Increases defense by three for ten minutes. Damage drugs. This seems like a worthy worthy expenditure yeah. of resources. Uh, ooh. I actually gotta get back. My inventory is mad full. Ooh, is that copper? Yep. Nice. I'll grab this and then head on back to base. Also, thank you very much for the sub there. Uh Dumon. Or an interesting name. Found ow oh, discovery item. Every every once in a while, I find like a shiny, and I'm like, oh, this is maybe it's like a cool crafting resource. Nope, discovery item. I mean, this the discovery items bad. are kind of cool because they they sort of tell a story, and especially when yeah. you pair it with some of the other material you can get, um, you can actually get quite an interesting story out of it. Come on, ah, oh, blessed apples and and berries. This is good times. Good. Okay, there's times. a trash. I'm assuming gene editing is something that we pretty much don't have access to for a while. Uh, as soon as you've got the materials for it, you've got access to it. It doesn't take much, but usually oh. you have to farm something in order to get it. Um, oh, it I see. It doesn't take long to get to. So I got to get ancient plant fossils to get ion skin. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and there's a ha. whole bunch. Uh, display all analyze. Well, nothing. I was taking the cuckoo with me there. Uh, let's see. That may be... Do we have storage solutions yet? Or no, not really. We can build chests. I've made a uh, uh, furniture workbench. We can also use the chest that was in the in the, the starting uh, yeah, spot as well. Yeah, but it's slightly out of the way. I mean, yes, it, that is true, but uh, it can be used in a pinch for now. Please leave me alone, Bo. I do not wish to fight you. 
Uh, this should make me a regular meal, at least. We have a goblin village, by the way, oh on the underground level, if we want to go try and figure out what that's about. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. That's part of the main story. Uh, we are going to want to go there. But when we're a little bit stronger, because okay. that's where the Goblin King lives. The Goblin King will not approve of our, our visit at all. And unfortunately, the Goblin King is a massive cheat hacksaw and can shoot arrows through walls. Oh, I disapprove. Okay. What the? It's like a bird slime. I wish you that could mouse a cuckoo over bank. creatures and like see what their oh. name is. Oh, that's a very angry cuckoo bank. Why have you angered the cuckoo bankers? Is that is that its name? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I, I was, before I came back, I came across one. I was like, oh, cuckoo bank. If you talk to them, they they like a they like an animal ender chest. Um, so you can put things in there and access it for any other cuckoo bank in the universe. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to now, though. I, I think some of them just... are just evil, though. I think uh, like, it's probably the red eyes. Uh, the, some of them are just straight up evil, probably. Uh, and if not, it'll probably... Uh, okay, it might just stuck. be different ones are fine. Wonder, get on. five seconds on this world, already angered the bankers of all people. I... Oh, I mean, I've I... angered everything. Everything hates me. <laughs> everything. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... I've been doing uh, doing my best to kill quite a lot of things as well, so, uh, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, can we name the chest? Uh, we can't. I don't think we can. That's, that's a bit of a shame. Well, ah. it is useful to be able to do, but... Doesn't look like we can. Uh, I'm going to use the teleporter and go over to, uh, to Ship's Lab. Oh! Ah! Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe. Oh, Instead, you made I'm some friends. Run around. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that quickly. Go okay, away, crazy them. cow things. Also, that is our rock goblin. Let's see, do you know if there are any, like, melee weapons with slightly more reach than the club? Yep. What, like a Spears, spear? Even swords are better than that. Uh, once we get okay. up to metal, we can do quite a lot more. Uh, so we're going to go to Ship's Lab. Now, in multiplayer, and in fact, in single player as well, um, because from what I can tell, multiplayer is basically just single player, only with more people. Um, you can teleport to an unknown island. That is your personal island. Anything you do yes. there, anything you put there, is only accessible to you, even in multiplayer. Matthew Ship. What? Who are you? Wow. Oh, hello, Tilly. Excuse me, WM69 asked me to come here. Uh, that You actually talked to WM69. He didn't ask me, <laughs> but it's, apparently I know. I don't know. Yeah, just woke up from us. So he'll just buy stuff from us. That's cool. Yep, he will. And sell stuff to us, too. Oh. Ah, uh, the girl's name was Danny. That's right. Danny was kidnapped by Meko. Almost Meko, but not. Could exchange some supplies from you. It's been four years since Danny last provided materials for me. I knew something must have happened. See, I wonder if if the flashback you get at the start is showing that Danny just got kidnapped, or that is literally the robot's last memory was four years ago. Huh. I have not run into any of these uh any of these quests. The dude is basically saying, yeah, you know, scrap the robot. Don't need it. It sucks. I've been trying to convince Danny to destroy it for a long time, but oh well. Which was particularly heartless, in my opinion. Considering that that robot was faithfully waiting to, to, to get help to rescue Danny all this time. This planet is very dangerous, and even this place is not absolutely safe. Mako will find this place sooner or later. For now, the most important thing to do is complete the spacecraft as soon as possible and leave here. And I can take you with me. See what you can do here. Also, there are some supplies on the table which you can buy if you need them. If you have anything I need, I'll buy them off you. Right, I need to go and let my cat out because she's been so, so good. She just, she literally just like 
stood up on my hind legs and just like was pouring up my hand, just like trying to turn me on my chair so I would face the door and uh, oh. let her out. So I'll be right Yeah, go back. for it. Come on, Sakariad. Sorry now. Is it dark now? No expert, but I think that was Welsh. Okay. Got this set up. Uh, oh, right. I haven't found any copper yet, so I'm kind of limited here. <laughs> <laughs> 